All right, guys, uh, people were asking me, so I'm going to do a quick video about catheterizing. And just remember, everybody, you know, is different with their situation. So a lot of variables matter, but uh, you can catheterize in a lot of different ways. There's a lots of different type of catheters out there for sale. I fortunately enough get these kits this is a barred touchless plus unisex pre-lubricated catheter kit so these are very handy they're kind of expensive if you don't have insurance to cover them but uh let me just show you how i use these and like i also am making this video so like you see what's out there and like i really like this one i've had like you know those companies send me like samples and want me to try it and want me to switch to their product. Out of all the ones I tried, I really like this one. It's really simple and handy and easy to dispose of. So let me just get into it and show you how this works. So the kit includes several things and it says on here, but you just open it up and it's got a, here, hold on, let me <clears throat> open it up. You got to like the thing you could, I never use this really. I kind of just like lay it here in case I do, but this thing opens up if you need it. And it's like waterproof on one side and then it absorbs shit on the other side. So I don't really use this though. So let me just fold it back up. But what I do, let me just show you how I do it myself. I keep this thing folded right there real quick. It comes with gloves. Sometimes I save one of them. I normally put one on because this is the hand I hold my thing with and it comes with instructions, the bag with the tube in it and iodine swabs. Let me back up a little bit. There we go. I don't use the instructions. I know how it works. I lay this here. Iodine swabs. Open it up. It comes with three. I only use one. So obviously I have my pants down and my private part out. I dab it so it's not too saturated on the instructions. I hold my thing. I kind of like just dab the tip of it and clean it off a little bit with the iodine swab. Then I grab this, pop the cap off, hold my thing and then like it has a tube in it with a bag. So you like slide it in. I know that seems uncomfortable but Thankful for me. I mean, it's a good thing and a bad thing, but I can't feel anything below my chest. And then when you slide it out, see, so when you slide it in and it gets past your sphincter into your bladder, it starts to just come out into this bag. So then once you're, you're all the way in and it slides past the sphincter, it starts to drain and come in the bag. And then you just pull the tube all the way out. And then I always pick it up and I use my hand to push the tube all the way down in the bag. And then you pop this thing off, which makes this hole a little bit bigger so you can pour it out into the toilet. And then once it's all out, I put this at the bottom of the bag, I fold it a few times so it fits. This fits, my glove fits. And then this kit is thrown away in the garbage. So quick and easy, sterile. So, uh, those are the catheter kits I use. I really recommend them. I hope this helped my fellow paraplegics or whoever uses catheters. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, give me some more suggestions on what other videos you want and what else I can do to help you guys. Thanks.